Hey guys, this run starts on mission 2 of Legacy of the Void Terran Edition because the first mission is not possible with Marines only. In fact, none of the no build missions I believe are possible with Marines only. Hope that clears things up, and I hope you enjoy this run. Alright, we can do really tiny pulls. And micro. Not every Marine I'm going to have is a war pig, right? I get normal Marines in this campaign. I'm like 99% sure. How many Zerglings are there? Oh, I can't. <sighs> Alright, I'm skipping the no build section. I... This is stupid. It's obviously designed to be used with Tychus. Tychus is in a marine suit. One and one equals two. That's just math. He's chonky marine. He's got tinier marines as his friends. We're going to go shoot things and we're going to go finish a mission of StarCraft today. Technically, I used him in Belly of the Beast for Marines only, so I think he counts. Well, he has a mini gun, you know, so I don't know. You could argue he's not a Marine. He's technically a scoundrel. That was really close, even with Tychus. Like... That would have been impossible with three Marines. There's no way. So let's get this built up right now. Tyke is as much of a Marine as the War Pigs are. Uh, in the description, though, War Pigs are specifically called Marines. Which is why I'm okay with using them. Tyke on the other hand, I don't know. There's probably somewhere that it calls him a Marine. He's a Primal Marine. Let's call him that. Primal Marine Tychus. How long do you think we have to macro up here? In Haven's Fall they call him a Marine? You might actually be right. In the lore, he's a Marine at some point. That's not quite the same. Because you could say the same for Jim Rayner, at which point you could argue using the Hyperion. <laughs> and uh, the Hyperion is not a Marine. Tigish J. Finley was a Terran Marine. Oh, All right. Well, if the wiki says that he's a Marine, and he's wearing a Marine suit, and he's shooting a gun at Zerg, then that's as close as I can get to a Marine. And I'm going to be okay with it. Discussion closed. Let's go win this without medics, which is also going to be obnoxious. There's no eBays or anything, right? Yeah. No happiness. I'm going to make a new poll on the YouTube tonight, by the way, guys, uh, for what people would rather see in a video, given that Marines only is just not possible, or that Stalkers only is not possible. So check out after this stream, Giant Crown Games YouTube main channel, the community section, I think it is, because that's where the poll will be. Yeah, sorry, Zealots only. Whatever. I'm going to ask... I don't know exactly what the options will be, but it will be right after this stream. Will I will make the thing. Man, Depot's build slow. 30 seconds? What a jip. We're going to wait for the first attack wave. Oh, Synergy, you're here. Uh, Hey, Synergy. How possible would it be to make a version of Heart of the Swarm that only allows me to build a generic Space Marine? Just like, that's all I want. I don't want anything else. Uh, eventually Orbital Command and a couple other upgrades. Would that be like an hour in and out, or would that be one of those things that takes way too long? 
Incoming Zerg attack. Because we have it now for Legacy of the Void. But I know that Heart of the Swarm uses Nova Covert Ops stuff, and the Nova Covert Ops Marine is, uh... It's a little too good. It would make the entire thing a non-challenge. And I would like to do the Trinity of Marines only if I have to. Yeah, the Covert Ops stem is just broken. It heals you for like 50. I wonder what we get here. Is it Marines? It's Marines. Nice. Synergy new. Okay, cool. Thank you for the information, Synergy. I appreciate it. I'm going to DM you about something completely unrelated later tonight. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Look how good the Space Marine is. What? This is brutal difficulty. I mean, I'm sure I'm about to eat my words, but... You don't need anything else in life. I know that later Legacy of the Void is going to get absurd, but the early bits should be easy. That's how challenge runs are supposed to be. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to start the video by like explaining how the unit works and all that kind of stuff. Not talking about the fact that I had to do rocket surgery in order to beat Mission 3. It makes it very hard to make a video. I don't even care if my men die. I'll send him in by the trillions. The Muta Menace. Completely destroyed. All right. So we've dealt with the attack wave. We've dealt with everything else. That means we can get a move on, though that Colossus is probably going to be the destroyer of worlds, isn't it? A 1-1 one -one Colossus with a bunch of Marines, or a bunch of uh, Zealot support is going to be obscene. I built way too many depots. But maybe I can pull the zealots away, right? Oh, those aren't zealots. Oh, are those going to be siege tanks? Hmm. Siege tanks are going to destroy me. Ah, oh my, ah. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, this is not going to be an easy campaign after all. <laughs> Those, oh, hello. <laughs> Let's get some more racks down so I can get that production going. Uh, I don't have to build depots for a while, which is nice. There's not a good angle to attack that, is there? I could fly the barracks to tank. Um, I don't really think so. Like, it doesn't have the same priority as the Marines, so when the Marines come into range, they'll instantly start getting vaporized. Ah oh, yes, just send my men in, in the line. That's the perfect strategy. It's not elementary school, guys. We don't have to line up in front of the teacher. One line for every war pig that I have. <laughs> okay, kids. Get ready for your field trip. 
Let's go to the art museum, kids. Remember to stay in line. <laughs> I don't think this is the strategy to beat two siege tanks. I think we defend the attack wave. This is the one with the Ultra Yetis. So the next one is the Ultra Muta one. Let's just go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I had the critical mass. Now let's start pulling them out of this base. And see if we can take this down before the next attack wave spawns. Oh, these Ultras are pretty scary. They do a lot. Four armor, six damage. It's not good math. Let's get the bonus over here. Ew. So we want to split up. All of our fire on this. Dude. I'm really impressed by this Ultra. He's terrifying. That's how an Ultra should feel. You know? Oh, hello, Guardians. I don't know. I'm already having fun. This is, uh, this is good. We're going to continue this tomorrow. So the people that are spawning are the attack wave, which makes me think these are three roaches that are going to come out, right? If all of our studying came to fruition here, then we're going to fight three roaches out of it. Oh, look, we're smart people. Oh my goodness. We did it. I have the memory better than a goldfish. I love Terran macro, man. I might not be good at microing as Terran, but it just, it's so easy to build stuff with this race. It feels great. I wish the other races worked this way. Just be able to go back tap. Oh goodness, what's it going to be up here? I mean, I always have an option to build another army, right? Let's make it work. Wow. Run after the Banshees first because they have high damage, low durability. Alright. Well, <laughs> we're going to build up again. Um... Jeez. So that area is pretty bulky. The BC is way scarier than the carrier is. I got a couple of the things. I don't think I need 150 Marines. I think that if I get up to this 91 supply cap, maybe even less than that, it'll be fine. I also don't have enough money to build that. I only have a little bit more of a push left. And that's always a problem with these mineral only runs is you go through minerals pretty quick. Let me see if I can just poke things to pull. Ooh, no, that is a trigger that pulls everything. Why is the BC flanking? Is that something I could use to my advantage? Oh, here we go. Yeah, split them up. Now it's not very much. Marauders go down easy. Marines are dead. And BCs might be scary, but not when they're naked. Then we just gotta do the last part, and we'll be done. 
Okay, I like this challenge, guys. We're gonna. Oh, dude, did you see all this stuff coming on the mini map right at the end? That was gonna wreck me. <laughs> that would have been bad. Do we have to actually fight through this because we don't have cloak? That'd make this section way easier. Or oh, way more interesting. I don't know why I said easier. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap up the stream as we do this. Thank you for coming. Tomorrow we're going to do a continuation of Marines Only, Legacy of the Void. I honestly think it's going to be really hard, but I think it's going to be approachably difficult instead of impossibly difficult. Do you know what I mean? And that's the difficult we got to be searching for with these sorts of runs. Uh, in the community section of the main YouTube channel, Giant Grant Games, there's going to be a poll maybe up in 10 minutes or so asking what people would like to see for a main series video. If you like this idea as the Legacy of the Void version, please vote. Otherwise, it's going to be stalkers only, or I'll have to think of something else.